I think it was a, a good league uh, campaign for us overall. We're obviously just promoted from Division 4. Obviously the goal would have been uh, to stay up first and foremost and we did that. Um, and then after our first few results we were looking looking towards promotion, you know. Um, but I think in hindsight now, looking back on it, had we got promoted, I think next year could have been a bit of a struggle potentially had we gone up to Division 2, just two uh, jumps in quick succession. So, um, you know, it uh, bar a result against Armagh, which was at home, had we won that game, <coughs> we probably would have been uh, set up for promotion. But we went down to Longford then, and Longford uh, deservedly so got the better of us on the day. Overall positive campaign, yeah, we got to blood in a new a couple of new lads as well. So, yeah, positive campaign. Leash, uh, local derby, played them many times as well. We know everyone knows each other anyway at this game. There's a lot of uh, negative comments towards the Leinster Championship, but if you uh, outside of Dublin, like a lot, everyone else, is probably nearly on a level playing field. Anyone within the Leinster campaign, when the draw is made for the championship, you're looking to see are you avoiding the dubs, you know, until the final, of course. Um, because with that in mind, you're giving yourself obviously the, you have the best opportunity to get to a final, and then the rest is up to you and uh, whether you can get on top of the teams that you're due to face. That would be our target, as it would be for Leash and Kildare and everyone else our side of the draw. Everyone else, everyone is looking, as I said. We're all on a similar playing field and um, if the results go your way you could find yourself in the Leinster final and that's what you have to target, you know. We were in two Leinster finals back to back, you know, um, great excitement around the county uh, in doing so, but I suppose the only downfall of that is when you go to play the dubs and when the result doesn't go your way. You know, I suppose as players we'll look back and, you know, I'll never forget the day we ran out in the first Leinster final where you have that little bit of naivety where you actually think maybe we could win. And I suppose when people listen to that, they say that fella's a bit mad. But as a sports person, you have to play with that, that attitude, you know. Um, no, we definitely didn't win and didn't come anywhere near close. But, you know, in years to come, we'll be able to look back. And when, when this dub, great Dublin team finally finished their, their run that they're on and, and successful campaigns that they've had, and we look back and we uh, <clears throat> respect how good they are, we'll be able to say, well, we played against those lads. and and we gave it our best shot, you know. A good run in Leinster keeps everyone motivated and keeps everyone interested because, you know, it is a long year and if you were going out and there was plenty of years there at Westmead where we would have, could have lost the first round and you go into the qualifiers and you might win that, or you might lose that one as well, like, you know, in your season, then lads come around and they question why am I putting in these eight, nine long months for, for that, like, you know, so, um, no, a, a long run in the Leinster campaign and then, uh, you know, hopefully get to the final and beat the dubs.